hello hello my friends welcome back to my another video review this is part number two from fan cell i hope you like my video part number one every this video have something special that i want to do some of them uh kind of comparison some just test it out and today we have in here so as i mentioned before i will mix product so we can have some you know and cross stitch and diamond painting um mix, mix match product so for everyone will be something to see uh we will start we will start i have only one winter design in here and i will start from cross stitch because it is kind of late this package as i mentioned in video number one travel to me a uh, very long time so i think we should start with it this design i also have in my cross stitch saga as a counted stitching i like this design and it is christmas design so we have in here a christmas celebration bouquet 14 count ada and 40 by 29 centimeters here it is. I like the way it's kind of like a snowy design and a mix with roses, which is kind of unusual. Very nice and soft, like a lot of pastel colors should be with the punch of pink in here and green. Uh, looks like a church in the background, beautiful snowflakes. Uh, it's like a bridge up there, I think, or maybe castle, whatever is going on up there. I think the design is a very beautiful picture. So let's see what kind of stitch we have in here. In full stitch we have 29 colors. Also we have oh, four colors in the half stitch. And also four colors in the back, uh, back stitch. So half stitch I believe most of this background where you see all these gray colors most of that that's where it go half stitch if it's not everything so let me see i will see better when we look actual design okay 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 mm, now it's kind of like a mix match yeah there's some on the bottom of the design not much backstitch just a little bit uh the backstitch in here if you're afraid of the backstitch uh we have backstitch on those canes and a candy cane then that um like this pink whatever is the flower up there you see looks like a lily that's where the backstitch go and yeah to connect those leaves up there in the branches those green leaves and some of the snowflakes the snowflakes it's also created with the back stitch yeah just a few branches those leaves connected with back stitch so not not much plus it's easy design because lots of a half stitch and here it is nice and very soft pastel colors as i imagine and lots of kind of gray shades that will be create this beautiful background yeah a little bit too late for christmas but that's okay you can start to create for somebody for next year and it will be ready work over the summer here's the two needles we have in here work over summer and you will have for somebody present for next christmas there you go oh canvas nice and applicable. it's nice and soft okay so what i'm thinking in here if my design in cross stitch saga has more colors than this i could even wash this canvas and start start with the counted if i decide that the other design is better but for those who um, don't have and there you go you have already uh, ready design and i believe you can find this design there's a lots of designs for right now they're counted and printed so make sure you read description very well because some of those designs are 
counted same pictures but you have to very read I love those um, beautiful snowflakes up there you can add some bling to them not just the threads but maybe some gems beads sequins very nice very nice and the canvas is nice and soft so I like that all right so this was item number one love it next one I will show you diamond paintings so we can uh, have a little bit different stuff okay remember we did with you unboxing of the lady kind of like a magical lady so I think this could be from same series uh, it's just a different okay different lady kind of mystical I don't know so I wonder if it's the same kind of canvas that remember diamonds was very sliding slipping all over so I don't know if that's the same or not um, here is the toolkit we have is here and diamonds all already in a ziplock bag so it's pretty much dark colors in here nothing really much screaming about it round shape diamonds design 40 by 50 centimeters and we have how many colors 20 colors in here looks very green right now but i see there's like a lot of their mobby purplish colors so it should be nice let me show you this way love them it looks like it's made maybe from the picture or it's actually from some kind of art looks very interesting she has lots of like flowers in her hair design maybe she is a flower elf or i don't know looks looks interesting and hopefully don't flip inside out my sheet because it could be very sticky if you didn't see video part number one uh, make sure check link under my video i usually post all links to connect videos together because from this package we will have um three or four videos and i don't want you to miss any of them because there's going to be like interesting stuff uh, let me check the glue in here it feels sticky it doesn't go my finger very easy so definitely this girl have a better glue than we review with you last week she has a gorgeous bouquet of flowers in her hands mm, lots of reflection because of this clear sheet okay uh, this looks like a side way we can see her a little bit better she is pretty she is pretty okay so one for cross stitch one for diamond painting next one i would love to show you oh by the way this background is from diy digital art it's a big tapestry like two meter on one meter something i don't know very big very gorgeous picture i did review about this and they have lots of their different kind and different sizes not sure if they have exactly the same one but um check it out link uh now what i want to show you let's do one more diamond painting and then i will show you cross stitch because we are going to do comparison cross stitch let's see what we have in here i think this is the one one of those collection i call them frosty frosty flowers i think it's the one that i really really like yeah looks like the one this one in the blue shades of the flowers i have lots of them like a more mostly pink and purples this one in blues for those who like who don't like too much of pink we have a two sets of tools in here two two trays two pen and two pieces of wax 
diamonds like nicely packed into the Ziploc bags. I think all of these flowers are packed same way. I think so. Round diamonds. And 40 by 70 centimeter size of the canvas and color sturdy. Yes, so definitely the same amount of colors because the other one also sturdy colors. And here is blue flowers with the bubbles kind of, I don't know. It doesn't look good right now in here because it's a pixel, so you have to put diamonds on it. But check the website to see actual picture. It looks so magical, so beautiful. I love this kind. So I think, I think altogether I might have now uh, four, five, maybe six. And there is a big collection of them in different colors. If you like them, you can collect them all and you should not regret. Lots of work, of course, because it is good size. Here is the bottom part. Look how magical that look like. Lots of black background, definitely. Kind of interesting the patches in here. Um, yeah, and this clear sheet are so soft, like it's like a easy to get. I see, like this one, I just fix it, and it's already create those little, like a air bubbles. But as soon as I rub with my hand, they just go nice and smooth. It's like moving so easy. Let's see this way. Those blue roses, big branch, magic, it's the magic, frosted magic, or it's like an underwater magic, I don't know, looks very, very interesting, this diamond paint and still me, and I like them, and I like them. Now, my friends, you will recognize something if I show you, if I show you this, okay? This is, and maybe I can bring you a little bit more close to me. Look at this mushroom. So what we have in here? We have in here, one is printed and this is counted. It's the same design. Now, do you remember, I just showed you recently, not long where ago, uh, canvases stitch on plastic pieces and I show you them in one of my cross stitch tools and accessories and also I showed you up there my finished projects that I recently done so if you did not see a video go check it out and you will see this mushrooms done on plastic canvas so I thought when I saw these designs at fun cell, fan cell, I always say fun cell, fan cell, when I saw this on canvas, I immediately thought about you because lots of you don't really like to stitch in a canvas, plastic canvas, because it is harder. It's a little bit more difficult to stitch in a plastic. You need to different way to start your canvas because literally you can just like uh, wave to start you need to be like a certain start to work with plastic so I thought let me get you this into review and we will see maybe you will like to stitch them as well but on canvas uh, same size or not let's see yes it is 14 count both and 20 by 26 centimeters uh, same thing it's called colored mushrooms. I don't know why colored mushrooms. I would just name them mushrooms collection or something like that. So let's see. Uh, first, I want to see if it's the same amount of colors actual. And here it is design. Uh, are they the same? If I would think about when I did, um, um, yeah, maybe same size. Maybe my size on a printed uh, I mean on a, I also did count at cross stitch but I was on a plastic so let me open them first 
okay and then we will compare and I do have uh, one more canvas to compare but at this point right now I did not review yet my first canvas that is from different company and one canvas I have from here so we will do this maybe next time so let me just show you how amazing this mushrooms looks when it's picture but it's actually you see the design that's what design took in from plastic design because you see how it's cut it out all the way around so they just copy from original whatever was made of plastic and created into the cross stitch so when you have a cross stitch on regular ada this really shouldn't be marked like that but we'll see we'll see but this is a interesting piece so first of course in here all your designs we will not show this on camera because it wouldn't be nice to do so in here if you would order in a plastic you would have like two pieces of plastic that you have to cut in half uh, in here we have a one piece that you can stitch them you can cut right away on four pieces and stitch separately or you like to have a picture like this and frame all at once collection of mushrooms uh, you can create like a little magnets of them you can create um, like a flip cards I don't know or as I say all at once uh, to to create them all on one piece of fabric so the fabric already nicely stitched you can see that okay 14 count Ada so how many colors we have in here okay I should where is that piece of paper the design okay that here is the design that we want to compare in full stitch 26 colors and backstitch in 27 colors yes there is a lot of backstitch in here so here is the colors we have two needles in here very little threads basically almost all those colors i have like a one come on we have to focus it's in here Oh, that's uh, one thread, one piece of thread, not good, like it's, see like, fluffy, you will have to cut the thread in half if you want to stitch, or maybe one will be le left over and you don't have to use that one, there, the colors, very little threads in here because it's a little designs, and I want to see right now if we have with this one exactly the same amount of colors or not. So here we have a printed design. And let's see. 26 and 26. Yes. And three colors in backstitch. Yeah, exactly the same colors for the backstitch. And I think it's exactly the same colors. Let me just yeah exactly same thing okay so they all the same no matter what you order it doesn't have a more colors or something so we already see this threads we are not going to look them again but we want to see the actual canvas in here canvas is nice and soft the same yeah same same canvas Okay, so here it is. You can split them on half and have all four stitch separately. The only thing is like not very much space between and here if you want to cut. So uh, you can stitch them all at once and then maybe cut if you want to create separate pieces. Uh, other than that, it uh, will be more comfortable to frame this and stitch all four of them at the same time and then decide what you want to do with them so i have to say that i had so much fun to work on this mushrooms because i'm absolutely uh, like i love this poison mushrooms the most like this one is the most poison 
mushroom but it's so beautiful we have tons of them in our woods in ukraine and this um very yummy mushrooms to fry them or make a soup and this is like the most expensive mushroom persini uh per persi persini persini person yeah I, I think i forgot the name exactly so we all have those mushrooms growing in our woods and i used to love 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 to go in the woods to pick them up because they are delicious oh yeah most love of this uh, mushrooms grow when you have lots of trees of white birch and this one mostly grow where lots of pine trees or um, uh, acorn no is it yeah that's what it is and uh yeah i love them i like those polka dots but yes all of them you can eat and this one is poison in the mix so you have to be careful if you like to go in the woods for the <laughs> for the um, um mushrooms you need to really learn what is good what is not and i have been collecting mushrooms when i was a child my father used to love to go to pick up mushrooms and that's why i always love to go with him we would sit on a motorcycle first in the morning like five o'clock in the morning and go far far away to the woods that's how i in my young age i learned how to orient myself in a deep woods by the sun if i lost from my father <laughs> so yes i was a tomboy yes i love it so i love those cross stitch and now we have one more in here of magic in here something magical something magical that has lots of pretty colors let's see this magical town or whatever that is and here is the toolkit or oh, diamonds in here all of them already pre-packed into the ziplock bags beautiful colors and here's the canvas 40 by 60 centimeters 40 by 60 centimeters we have 23 colors in here oh it's kind of like no it's it's sticky feels like it's go kind of harder clear sheet as the canvas i don't know but don't you love this wonderful colors in here i might have something similar already or maybe even identical or you know from so many i could be mistaken but i love the design and of course if i have something similar that could be as a gift or so i love the colors in here look at this pretty colors 23 colors in here lovely and yes 40 by 60 centimeters i hope you like video today i hope you enjoyed it and yes all prepack in those regular big bags but you have to kitten up so let me know what you think about today's unboxing what do you think about these two diamond paintings they are kind of similarity between them and just the one size is a little bit bigger